Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about a topic that is pretty serious. Um, I know a lot of people that struggle with this, and so we're just going to get into this. So, today we're going to be talking about depression and how it is, like, how some people take their, how, how some people take their depression and some who take it a whole different way. There's so many different ways why people can be depressed. And it is honestly like a serious thing nowadays especially. Because people have just been feeling down. And just depression. Or if you have anxiety. Depression and anxiety are the main two for me that like take over my life. So, I could be having, like, the best day of my life. Like, I could be, with like, hanging out with my friends or, like, doing just doing something fun. Or maybe I just woke up in a great mood. And then instantly, like, my mood changes and I get, like, emotional. Or I just don't want to... Either I don't want to get out of bed or I just don't want to do anything or I mean people think I'm depressed all the time because I like to stay in my room I like to watch Netflix all the time I don't like going with my I mean I like hanging out with my friends but like you know they're doing their thing and or it's not like I'm not always be with my friends so when I'm not with my friends, or I'm not babysitting, or I'm not doing anything, I'm just in my room. So, people think that that means that you're depressed if you're just in your room all the time. Now, if someone... So, I'm going to tell you some of the signs. So, some of the signs could be like, they're pushing you away. Like, they're getting distant. And if you ask how they are, they're like, whatever, I'm fine. Or they... You just kind of notice, like... That they'd rather be alone or that they'd rather, like, just not be around anyone. Oh, that didn't work. Like, it doesn't mean that they don't want to, like, do things or hang out. Like, some people, like, even having depression, they, like, hang out with people and they, like, go do stuff. But they just, you can just tell... That they're not the same person. And especially with anxiety. Like you kind of. For me at least. You don't know your worth. You think. If you. For me. When I when my depression and my anxiety are like head to head. It honestly just makes me. Feel. Trapped. And. I. I'm gonna say I resorted to cutting and now I know that that was like the worst thing to possibly do. That's not the way to cope with life. That's not the way. No, it's, it's just, I want you guys to know if you're suffering from depression, anxiety, um, basically just anything and you feel alone you're not someone knows what you're going through and maybe they just don't want to talk about it like for me I mean I never knew like that that was in my family like I never knew that a lot of people in my family suffer from it so I mean I just never knew and I didn't know that like my friends suffered from it either until I finally came out and I'm like I haven't been honest with you guys. And then I'm like, I'm not okay. I have been cutting. I think it took me at least four years to get over cutting. Four years. I mean, sometimes now and then I'll be having a really rough day and I'm like, where's where's the blade, you know? But like, In my head, though, I know that that's not right. So, like, I'll 
this is the worst thing, is when I confide in someone, it's like something different because I normally don't confide in people. So when I do, it's like, I really trust you. So I confided in this one person and he told everyone that I was crazy because I didn't talk to people. Like, I talked to um, a counselor and I have had a therapist. I'm, I'm talking to someone actually like right now, like I see her like every Tuesday. So I mean, even to this day, I still talk to people, you know? It's just nice to have someone like, even when you don't need it, it's nice to know that they're there. And I'm telling you now, like, get one. Get someone. Get someone that either, A, understands, two, is a therapist, counselor, guidance, a guidance counselor, um, like a therapist, like someone. A trusted adult. Talk to someone. Because, even with my friends, like... I'm not gonna say what they did, but they were in similar situations, and they got help. And I know people don't want to get help because it's for the weak. It's not for the weak. It's actually for the people that know that there's a problem and they need help. And... For me, when I got the first, like, my first actual therapist, like, it was weird. It was really weird. I'll tell you that. Because I didn't want to open up. I didn't want to talk about it, about anything. I did not want to talk. I just sat there for for the first like two sessions I think I like just sat there and colored because like that's what we did when we talked we colored and you know we just chilled out I think I just colored for the first like two sessions and then I was finally like you know this person's not here to watch me color this person's here to help me cope and just help me get through to get through and if you are someone that can't just say I need help a it's because you're scared to open up B you feel alone and feel like no one understands or C maybe you don't have anyone I will be that someone. You may A, just click on my video because you need help or because you're my friend and you're trying to support my channel or because you want to hear what I have to say. I'm here. I don't care if I know you, you're a subscriber, or maybe if you're just a person that just needs to talk to someone. I actually I'm going to go to school to be a social worker so I can help others because people have helped me through my through my darkest times so I want to be able to help others so ways that I cope I'm just going to do this really quick so a I color b I draw c I like to, um, I started to paint, um, I, I like to bake, like, just the simplest things, like, even just watching Netflix helps a girl cope, okay? So, we're gonna stop this video here, so, um, if you want another video like this, like and comment below that you wanted to 
have another video like this. And subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.